Electric and Gravitational Fields In the chapter on electric charge and force, the similarity between the electric force and the gravitational force was noted. There are similar relationships between the electric field and the gravitational field because they both are generating central forces. What is a central force? Pretty straightforward. A central force is directed in a straight line to or from an object from a point in space. The magnitude of this force only depends on the distance between the point and the object. There is a key difference between the two fields, the electric field and the gravitational field, and their forces. Mass, which is the source of the gravitational field, is always positive and the force is always attractive. The gravitational field always points towards the mass generating it. Charge, which is the source of the electric field, can either be negative or positive, and the force will either be attractive or repulsive. The direction of the electric field points away from a positive charge and towards a negative charge. Given that a mass m, and you're going to note the similarity of this mass m to the test charge we use for defining electric field, we've got this mass located at the surface of a planet that has a mass of big M and a radius r. Newton's law of universal gravitation finds the gravitational force, and here it is. And r, of course, is a distance between the center of the Earth and the object's center. Now, the object is so tiny, so it's really just to the object. Divide this expression by little m, and again, there you go. There's our analogy to the positive test charge, and we will call this g, the gravitational field. Big G m divided by r squared. Here's g, the gravitational field, and we can express the weight of an object on a planet or another way to say it is the measure of the force between the object and the planet just like we did with electric fields is going to be F equals mg we call that weight now recall the mass of the object remains the same wherever it is but his weight is dependent on the gravitational attraction g of its surroundings A handy chart to show how the fact that both gravity and electric fields rely on a central force, how similar they are. Gravity is described by Newton's law of universal gravitation, electric fields, Coulomb's law. Here's the equations for force. See how mathematically they are so alike, they just have different values for the constants. And here you have mass generating the field, here you have charges. Here's the values of the constants. Here's what generates the field, mass, which is measured in kilograms, and charge, which is measured in coulombs. They both depend on the distance r. In this case, it would be the center of mass for gravity, center of charge for the electric field. And again, here we go, gravitational field, electric field, and then the definitions for those two. This would be a very handy chart to take some time to write down now. Of course, you could take a picture of it or print it, but it's always good to write stuff.